one was a really smart cookie. <laughs> oh, is that where Fig Newtons come from? No, Fig Newtons are named after a small town in Massachusetts. No, don't write that down. Right. Now, if M-A equals M-G, what does that imply? I don't know. Hey. Well, but how can you not know? I just told you. Have you suffered a recent blow to the head? <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you suffered a recent blow to the head? No, you just suck at teaching. Really? Of those two explanations, which one seems the most likely? Show them I'm trying to understand, but you're going too fast. Can you just back up a little bit? All right. It's a warm summer oh. evening. Not that far back. Okay. At what point did you begin to feel lost? I don't know. Where were we looking up at the night sky? Greece. Damn it! <laughs> There's no need to get frustrated. People learn at different rates. Unlike objects falling in a vacuum, which... <laughs> M-A equals M-G... Squared? No. Aristotle? No. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because I'm stupid! Uh, well, that's no reason to cry. <laughs> the one cries because one is sad. For example, I cry because others are stupid and it makes me sad. Okay, look, can we just please forget about all this extra stuff and can you just tell me what Leonard does? All right. Leonard <laughs> is attempting to learn why subatomic particles move the way they do. Really? That's it? Well, that doesn't sound so complicated. It's not. That's why Leonard does it. <laughs> okay, I just have one question. What exactly are subatomic particles? A good question. Thank you. And to answer it, we first must ask ourselves, what is physics? Oh, <laughs> Warm summer evening in ancient Greece. 